grid. You can work from life. She does not. She does not. Oops, we just lost Jessica. Oh no, she'll come back. All right. So God punished her for bullying me. <laughs> right, so you'll see here is the picture um, in color. So you can sort of see how the colors are playing off. I thought we would start with the black and white and maybe we'd start with um, an apple that's these colors, but we might move to something where you did your own colors. So just kind of depending on how well it did. And if you look, these are pretty thick strokes. So this is a pretty good practice in dark. This is a little bit like what we uh, carry over to what we did last week. Um, where we were working in um, sizes. And so, and I'm gonna walk you through, um, I'm gonna walk you through how to draw this. We lost you there for a second. Um, Me? Yeah, I hit the wrong thing when no, the meeting just, recorded. That was, that was God punishing you. How to draw this, because Jean, the training wheels are coming off. All right. Well, well I was saying, Jean, you don't need training wheels. I been out with you working from life and you can do St. Patrick's interior from life and you can do Central Park from life. You do not need a grid. You're way yes, beyond that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and all of that is way more complex than what you're doing tonight. So uh, one of the things that I like to do besides finding the vertical distance is, you know, kind of constantly comparing it to um, to the uh, width. And if you can see the widest part of the apple here, I know this is where everybody veges out, but like you kind of have to do this. Yep. Right, so you can see that the apple at the widest point is as wide as it is tall. You can also see that this is not the halfway point of this vertical line. The halfway point is about, of the apple is about here. Up a little bit. Right? So when I start to sketch, oops, why is it? What's going on here? Why? Oh, I see. Hang on just a second. There we go. Um, there we go. If I start like this, and this, I kind of randomly decide my top and my bottom. And I even draw a line between them. And I even find the halfway point. Like this. Right, so there's the halfway point. I know that the width comes up here a little higher than the halfway point. And the width is the same. As the height. Got that? So I start by kind of drawing this cross really. One. So start with this, Jean, and let me see it. And then, lucky you. <laughs> it does get me. <laughs> Janet, please feel free to send over whatever you've got going. Um, and lucky you, Jean, you get all my undivided attention. <laughs> Help me. <I'm>, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. So let me see. We will get, I do promise, we'll get to some of those classics, but we're not in a one session class where it's a one-off, we're not quite ready for that yet. I want us to practice some apples first. And this really reminds me of the last apples, the like pairs that we did because of the darks, the way the lines 
are, um, I mean, it's very different in style, but the way the lines are kind of dark to convey contour, I really like how that happened. As well, if I'm going to get really technical, oh, I see. You can see this, you'll see that it's not exactly divided in half. So I'm going to bring this in a little bit on this side. This side is going to be smaller than the other side. This way. I'm kind of fiddling with this length. Unfortunately, it's not a really easy, you know, like two thirds, one for a third thing. One. But it's a little bit wider on this side. The length is the same as the height. But this side is just a little bit shorter than this side. There we go. Okay, so let's see it when you're ready. Let me see it. This is good because we can address this. I can see that um, now having worked with a lot of students uh, in this way, particularly, I can see that the real struggle for people is drawing. Some people struggle with mixing. Some people don't have any idea how to use the paintbrush. Most people get kind of excited by the paintbrush. Um, it's really drawing that uh, people can't do or have to practice that. And that, I think it's because it feels a little tedious until you get into it. It's not really tedious, it's kind of awesome. And when you're ready, send it over. So Jean, just send it, send it to me when you have these crosses in place. Let me take a look at it. Before you get into the actual drawing, send it to me. Uh. Let's see.
I think this has to come down a little further. Which? The cross line here. Where's your halfway point? I'm looking for that. The widest, the, the halfway point is, about, well, on mine, it's about an inch down from there. Uh, bring this down just a touch more. Okay. A little bit closer to the halfway point than you have it. Um, right now, then you can start thinking about um, this. I can tell you what's happening. You want to paint and you're forgetting about, you don't want to, you're trying to rush through the drawing. Let's not do that. Let's see. Yeah. Me rush through the drawing? Yes. So. So if you can see, kind of how, I want you to kind of appreciate the squareness by looking at kind of each. So in a way I've given you a grid. Yeah. Well, there's there's no curve lines hardly in this. Not really. Apples aren't that way. Yeah. They're like, and then, yep. And then there's kind of this thing happening. Yeah. What the? So it's like your your camera is showing below where you. Oh, sorry, sorry. I moved it up and I didn't. Sorry. So it's uh, like this. Made it too wide. So good. You get to see me do this again correctly this time. So this kind of comes down. And then it goes in before going straight across. There we go. Okay. I hate to say it, but it's really kind of pear shaped. The apple or your apple? The apple. <laughs> it's just, um, it's kind of I mean, more, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of more like a cube with rounded edges, right? Uh, let's see. Okay. Make this line straighter. And then, yeah, that looks pretty good. So there's this kind of, as we start to go in on the inner shapes, there's like, I really like how the planes are divided up here. I think that's also what I like about this, that the planes are divided up very nicely. There we go, like that. Yeah, not bad, Jean. I'm gonna send this so you can really see it well. So I guess in a way I've given you a kind of modified grid, but it's a grid that you decide kind of uh, the parameters of more than anything else. It's weird when you do it like this, it almost looks like kind of a mask.
then let's just add the dark and light shadow. Take Parker down here. So yeah, let's get to. Oops. Hi, Christina. I'm doing an apple today. I'm working in acrylic. You guys can work in whatever you want. I'm still kind of working, but I'm paying attention. <laughs> I just wanted to be in the meeting, kind of. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. I appreciate that. Christina is the PR person for um, the LA Homeless Coalition. Oh, that's yeah. a big job. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a county agency, um, the LA County Homeless Initiative. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's not fun. <laughs> it's fun, but also difficult. Let's put it that way. I would say that's there's some interesting things about it, like about how much success the agencies have, but how hard it is to show it because the homeless problem just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, just perspective real quick. There are 227 people who become homeless in LA County every day. I bet um, it's gone up in the last few days since the unemployment, or it will go up since the unemployment stopped. Yeah. Right. And I think that number's being masked by the eviction moratorium. Right. Okay. And Jean, what color do you think we should do as a base? Uh, for the background, a very light lavender. Okay. Oh, the base to go underneath. The base, yeah, to go underneath. I almost always use burnt sienna as a base. You want to try green? Just Let's as green. green. Let's do that. Since it is a red apple, it might be neat to see how green looks. Okay. I thought you said we weren't doing it in red. Oh, no, no. I, I had it here. Just, I said we'll do it in, in, well, actually, truthfully, you can do it in whatever color you want. You're right. You're right. If you want to. I was thinking about doing it as a red at the beginning and then maybe doing a second one as a, a, any color, but do any color you want, which means pick any base you want. I'm thinking I will try a green base, but you know what? It, let's experiment with this. I like it. This is Viridian green. This is acrylic paint. Um, right now, this is the biggest acrylic brush I have. Can you put it up again? You can use a bigger one if you have one. This is what I happen to have right now. Actually, that's not completely true. Hang on. I do have these. You ever use these? Yeah. No, these not, not in my painting paintings, but in my craft paintings. Um, these are awesome. So this may come into play as well. We'll use these two. I will use these two. Um, and 
in this case, I'm going to add, like I said, so Jean, you're following along. You know enough about painting to be able to pick your own colors, but let's pick a base and a top color. So this is Alizar and Crimson. I'm going to mix it with some green. It had a kind of beautiful darky green. And so when I first start painting, I'm going to paint. And it's interesting, this is why we paint in bases, because look at how black this first layer is. It's pretty flat. It's OK, though. I know I'm going to make it better with my top colors. And I'm just kind of going in to the top darkest areas. Kind of in here. Now, if you want to, totally do a bird sienna base and whatever color you want on top. Okay, so that is the darkest. Uh, I'll get this into. There's like a kind of three, four action coming on here, or four or five action happening here on this side of the apple because it's darker. So I'll go back in here and darken this even more. Ultimately, we'll want to distinguish that, but I think right now it's okay. And also, I'm going to get that in back Kind of, I love apples. I kind of think of them as like the perfectly, and them and the egg is like the perfectly engineered foods. Then I'm cleaning up my brush and getting kind of a little bit more water 
to get kind of the more medium grains in. Kind of going around. So this is sort of like a three maybe. Kind of flat at the moment, but I'm expecting Um, and notice how this does read as a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter than this color, even though they look similar. It definitely reads a little bit lighter. And now I'm going to add just a touch of yellow to my palette here, just for the base. And then I'm doing kind of a slightly yellower light for I'm lightening this apple with yellow, the green with yellow for this base. And then maybe almost straight yellow, a little bit of green in it for these. Arcs is happening here. And then I'm going to put kind of slightly dark here. And then I'm just going to do kind of a very light, lightish green, yellow wash. Wait, it should be even lighter than that. So notice uh, I took my, my, I put paint on. and then uh, wiped it off a little bit. So it's still kind of green. I want to get a little bit of paint everywhere. <laughs> All right, it's done. <laughs> Just kidding. So it's interesting, if you were here in last week's class, you will see that, as I said, although these styles are very different, the both artists use similar, some similar things in building up their apple. One thing is that they, you know, the use of these very strong dark areas. So last week, our apples and our pears kind of had like strong lines like this, right? Um, like lines, but definitely here too, the darks are used, the sort of dark side is, is very strongly delineated. Not the same. But it is similar. So when you've got your underpainting down, send that in. And if you decide you want to try a different color, uh, go for it. Yeah, and actually at this point, you know, you can make decisions about your upper colors too. You just want to make sure that whatever you use isn't like a straight color, that you're mixing it if you need to. Let's see. Ooh, Jean, that's kind of neat. <laughs> um, are you working with oil or are you working with acrylic? It's acrylic, but I'm going to do purple over it. I like it. Get a little bit darker up in here. I like how you delineated that, but Get it, you're gonna want a little bit more darkness up oh, in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that looks kind of cool. Keep this. 
as this is really awesome. Yes, awesome. And Christine, if you're able to do it, you can send me your underpainting too. If you're just watching, that's also fine. So this is the underpainting. Your underpainting much, looks much warmer and brighter than mine. So you might even have more success than me on this next layer. This is what happens when you let Jean take an uh, abstract art class. She gets all like crazy with her colors. <laughs> I love it. This is almost dry. It'll be dry in a couple minutes. I am going wild in those classes and I love it. It's kind of great, isn't it? It looks like you just launched a new big investigation. I saw yesterday on Facebook. Oh, uh, the election stuff? Mm-hmm. Um, possibly. I mean, that was one story. I don't, I don't, I don't know what else they're planning to do. It's not my project. I'm not working on that. I'm just kind of an occasional consultant. You're a busy lady, Janet. Busy. Too busy. It's, it's like crushing. <laughs> you, you just had a vacation. You should feel relaxed. I'm like so stressed out. And it's so funny. So I brought on my vacation an entire suitcase of art supplies, mostly markers. Mm -hmm. And I brought like, I bet I brought 20 drawings that I wanted to work on, which was so ridiculous, like why I thought I would be able to work on that many drawings. And I worked on two, but I were, it was so awesome. Like every day I got up, I walked on the beach and then I drew for like six or seven hours. Mm, nice. In this beautiful back room that looked out on the marsh. Oh, That's great. is that what, and you came up with that really wonderful uh, uh, piece of the, the session with Brie, right? The one of her on in the, in the ball gown, yeah. Very nicely done. I spent a whole day just figuring out the color palette for that drawing. I love it. Me too. Um, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you in a minute um, what I'm working on now um, for some input. Okay. I like the way you put that. All right, good. I will give you input. By the way, Jean, I'm really loving your um, underpainting. It's pretty beautiful. <laughs> I keep looking your at what? it. I like your underpainting. It's very beautiful. Oh, thank you. And I like that you're making decisions that are different than the ones that I'm making. I think that's fun. <laughs> that shows confidence. We'll go to. We'll go Whether to. Whether it's justifiable confidence, today. we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yes, send it, send it. Oh yeah, it's pretty neat. Right, this is mostly dry. Oh my God, Janet. It's pretty. Oh, 
my fucking god how did you do that it's pretty it i had so much fun on those face cards how did I you do it? it so i downloaded some images of so i had this idea that the drawing is called mary queen of hearts right and i got this idea that i wanted to put the cards around her and i've had it sitting here for months and i just had them drawn like straight and i was planning to look up face cards and draw like just draw them straight and then i was like no way like these need to be twisted <laughs> this is amazing yeah, this is so fantastic and, they, and you did it well like you did it really well mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i i found this i found this website that will distort images for you so it's kind of, I guess that's kind of cheating, but Lee said it was cheating. And I was like, I don't think it's cheating. You still have to render it. It's just giving me ideas on how to distort the face cards. And I didn't follow them exactly. Mm -mm. But Janet, it's still your concept. Yeah. You're not oh, yeah. ripping off a concept. That's the whole thing. You just need reference for your concept. That's not cheating. Oh yeah, it's just like looking up an ostrich, in my opinion. You know, like it is. This isn't yeah. like somebody's art. This is just no. Like this is your original concept and execution. Yeah, and oh this my is god, amazing work. So much fun on those. Mm -hmm. Like I can't even tell you. So anyway, now I'm trying to decide what to do. I have to. Um, you can see what I'm. So I'm trying to sketch out my color for the rest of it. And um, I kind of like the way that turquoise looks. I love the turquoise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm pondering. It's working out really, really well. How so do, what do you think about the, I want her to have the black dress and the red boots, but I'm not oh, sure yeah. what to do with that throne. Like, do you think that works or? What else could I do? I tried purple and that looked really bad. No, yeah, because it looks gold. The throne? Yeah. Well, it's brown. I know, but it, but it. Do you like the, I kind of like the lighter brown. Yeah. Because it does read gold. I mean, it, you, it looks like there's just dark light on gold, you know, or like it's old gold. It definitely does. I think that whatever you choose, kind of, uh -huh. it's the value. It's because in both pictures that you sent, the throne is a darker value. So if you squint at it, it's back because it's a darker value and that's what makes it work. It's yeah. also why the red against the red works yeah. because you have it, you have the values correct. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Well put, Jessica. It's really neat. As I long as you I keep like that throne dark, you're good. You yeah, yeah. Use any so I want her. I want her to pop out. Yeah. I don't want her to get mm -hmm. lost. Yeah. Yep. So I kind of like. I kind of like. I think the the last one I sent is the one I'm going to go with. I think that's a good idea. That works. Between the two, I prefer the last one as well. Yeah. yeah. Um. It just it's a little less harsh. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, it's a little bit. It's a slightly lighter value, not by much, just like one down. Yeah. but it doesn't compete with the dress as much because you really I, want it to pop. So you have an interesting challenge of you need the throne to be dark, but you need both the dress and her skin to pop out. Right. So this is a value challenge. Yeah. Yeah. And I need, but I need the throne. So I need the throne to be pushed back from her, but I need to be, I need the, I need the cards to be pushed back from the throne. So those reds should also be a little bit more muted. What reds? The reds in the cards. No, that's too late. Those are in. I can't do that. The cards are drawn already. So um, that's why I made the red in the chair darker mm -hmm. to try to push the cards back a little bit. No, the, the, the Red in the throne, I think, works really well. And the red in the cards doesn't bother me. If you wanted to push them back, you might consider and try this digitally first just to test it out. But to put the, just the lightest of light 
gray wash over the whites. That's kind of if what you I was really saying. want them to go back, but I don't even know if they need to. Yeah, I, I think they look really good the way they are. Yeah. Finish the rest of it and deal with that last. Yeah, yeah. that will be. But I, I agree with you. That was kind of my instinct, too, is to gray the white just a little bit, at least in places. Like yeah, just not the whole thing, but yeah, in places. Areas where like, so, but th that will be the last decision. And yeah. All right. Maybe like I might want to gray the whites um, where they meet the chair, like where they're close to the to her. Mm -hmm. You could, but also where one card is in front of another card, mm -hmm. you could push the back card back by darkening yeah. the value just slightly, but don't overdo it or you'll lose yeah. the effect. Yeah. Okay. This is really, really wonderful work, Janet. It really is. I agree. Superb in concept and execution. It's a, Thank I you. Those are just getting tighter and tighter. You're getting an idea. Getting the ideas are really coming, but your compositional um particularly the composition is really flowing the know? one thing i'm bummed about on the composition on this one is i wish i had made the bottom right card tilted in the other direction huh. because i feel like i feel like it well maybe not but i i kind of feel, feel like it draws the eye off the page a little bit i don't think it does i actually think it directs it towards her you do yep good Mm -hmm. I think it's I'll like take that. part of the sweeping arc that kind of comes in like this. Mm -hmm. um, all right, Jean, where are you at? She's got a paintbrush in her mouth. She is full at it. I was going to actually uh, switch my water out, clean my water out before I start laying on reds. Where, but where are you at in this process? I, I cleaned my water. So. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing, and then we'll go in and add our top layer. I'll send you where my where my darks are. Okay. Hey, Dio, what's up? Oh, nice. Very nice. That's gorgeous. That's coming along really nicely. Okay, so once we start the drawing, you can kind of, well, now once you've got the underpainting, sorry, like drawing, underpainting, whatever, I'm going to add some, I'm going to go very traditionally red with this apple. So I'm adding some cadmium red. A little quinacridone. I want some options here. I've got yellow. I've got a little green if I need to push it back. There you go. More two. Jessica, I'm being held hostage. By bubbles. Oh, I was being held hostage by my kid. Inkling. Inkling is is standing on my lap. He doesn't sit on, the, on my lap. I hear him. I hear Inky Ink. <laughs> hey, boo boo. You're going to the store? Hey, get some more toilet paper. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's on YouTube, too. <laughs> All right. Funny. So. I'm going to start with kind of some of the lighter areas just to see. I'm adding a little bit of yellow. Here, I can't really see that. Let me see if this good. I'm adding a touch of yellow to my orange, to my, sorry, to my red to really dramatize it. And I'm also really trying to use big strokes. So there's a kind of a compulsive way. Lots of painters do this, so it's not just like you or me. There's this compulsive way that we kind of overpaint paintings, and it, it's like this. I'm going to go here, I'm going to go <laughs> like this, back and forth, 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 right? And I don't really want to do that because that sort of removes my strokes. So I'm actually looking a little bit at the directionality of these strokes. 
just to see how, like what happens if I stay that loose. And then I can go in and kind of slightly darken it. So I'm darkening my red with a touch of panopridone and also a teeny touch of green, not too much. You can see it's still mostly red, but it reads as a little bit darker and eh, maybe not dark enough. Definitely not in this camera lighting. So I'm going in straight with yellow. Well, this is still a little bit. Just to push the light. And I, there are some interesting changes here. It's a little bit lighter up here. And So for the really dark sections, I'm keeping both reds, but I'm definitely adding more green. It still looks red, but kind of a burgundy red. I might go over with the more of a black. I'm also still trying to use my brush loosely. So I like actually how these pieces aren't really blended. I like how the sides are looking. Kind of strong. The edges. Remember, you notice I kind of went over my highlights on this layer. I'll go back. I'm going to add them in now. So for that, I need a lot more yellow. Why not white? You might add some white at the end, but white is kind of flattening. I'm really trying to follow. The mark making without really looking at the the color version. So whatever colors you use, Jean, mm -hmm. remember to mix sort of darker and lighter versions of them. Yep. And then I'm probably gonna do a kind of dark reddy green shadow because I think the shadow is probably very influenced by the color red here. And I also am noticing in this shadow, there's darks and lights here too. And it gets kind of dramatic. Okay. 
It's kind of fun, Jean, isn't it? Not as boring as you thought. No. It's really great, right? Let's do a little bit of this before we start jumping. Uh, we jump into like copying masters, at least in a two hour class. Okay, now I'm really curious to see how yours is. So when you feel ready, send up. I'm warning you, I haven't really gotten into the light yet. Oh, it's looking nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. This is beautiful. This is going to be one of those, you know, I think you, <laughs> uh, damn it, I really want to use this uh, process that you're doing for the um, Art at Work newsletter, but I technically can't. <laughs> <laughs> I want to use this. It's really good. Anyway, keep going. We'll figure it out. I think this would be a neat thing to show people. Why can't you use it? Because I'm not a Reuters employee and Ru Russell Reynolds hasn't started. Oh. Hasn't started yet. Oh. Bummer. I hate though, Jean. This is pretty fucking great. I love what you're doing. Christina, if you're doing something, show us. If not, just watching, that's totally fine too. But. Sure, I'm about to join you actually. I just have to send something and I'll join you in a bit, but I, I haven't started. Okay. Damn it, this is so damn good. So excellent. Oh my fucking God. So did you get bored, like working eight hours a day at art? Or oh, God, no. I, could, I wish I had like three more weeks of that that I could do. I wonder if the next thing for you, Janet, is to get an art um, residency. Or is it enough for yourself anyway? I love that. Wouldn't that be a neat idea? Let's, yeah. let's strategize on that when you come. That isn't going to happen until I'm done paying tuition. Sure. Uh, that's true. That's a little bit. There's a lot going on there. Yeah, you're right. I want to get an artist residency. That would be cool. <laughs> you know, you are an artist residency. <laughs> you are just no, I mean, just like to like do an actual program like that. You should. You are ripe for it. I don't know why. Because I have a kid. Yeah, right. Got it. Got it. You will. You can, later you can, later. Yeah, I think I'm not there yet with child stuff, but I am leaving her for a week in October. Not quite a week, Good five nights. You. I am, I'm leaving my teenager for five nights. Wow, where are you going? I am house sitting for my friend in Connecticut. Nice. I'm gonna take a week off work and um, Diane's gonna be in school and dance the entire time I'm gone. She doesn't care, she'll be fine. She'll be thrilled. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Is she really? She she'll be okay. I'm not. I'm not worried about it. I have a friend in the well, neighborhood. Are you doing just in case. Are you doing Simon's plein air thing? Yep. Yep. I am. You want to come up? You come up. I'm going. I already. I signed <gasps> up. I have to. I have to decide what. Um, so do the do. workshop with me and my friend Catherine. We're doing what are you the. Doing? It's the plain air on a dark background, but it's the afternoon session. I so come do it with us. One, there was one about like uh, using your phone to set the scene and then- Oh yeah. You know what they're gonna show you for that? They're gonna show you how to use your phone camera and they're gonna show you the grid on your phone. That's my, that's my prediction. So why did you sign up for the one you did? You know because the, you know the person i don't um because it's a 
it's way I don't normally work, which I'm gonna kind of actually tone some panels in um, burnt umber like dark and go out and do it before the workshop just to see. Um, I wasn't gonna take a workshop at all, but I got pretty good train fare up. And then my friend Catherine is giving me a ride to and from the train station, which is really nice of her because that was my snag was transportation. Um, and she's taking it and I figure, you know, why not? I, I think it sounds fun. I'm gonna be up there and let me I see how somebody else works. So much fun. So my husband and I rented a little Airbnb and we're going up on Friday. And then I told him, I'm abandoning you for the entire day. You're going to drop me off in the morning and pick me up when I'm all done. Yeah. You have to figure out. Oh, by the way, happy doing. anniversary, Janet. Thank you. <laughs> Janet, I'm so excited you're going to be there. We can paint together. Yeah, Jean's going to be there too, right, Jean? Really? The um, Alana thing? Yeah. 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 And Marianne <gasps> and, and Gina are going too. Yeah, there's a whole... My writer's friends are going to be there. How how fun. I thought I'd only know one person. Turns out I know yeah. all of you. Oh, that's just so fun. We need to have a little Reuters group. We need to have like we a little have like a group. Group. We yeah. do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you can all meet my friend, Catherine, who is amazing and you'll love her. And she does, she's a social justice biker. And she does like all the protests and shuts the roads down on bicycles with her group. She's so cool. You, you guys don't like her. Oh, I do like her. Yep. Jean, did you did you sign up for a workshop? Not yet. I'm trying to just. Oh, come do the one with me. It's from four thirty to six thirty. It's that the the afternoon, the afternoon plein air one. Mm -hmm. I think that's the one I, I wanted. So we'll see. It's Eileen, somebody or other, who's doing it. I'll have to see. I don't know if I can stay that late. Are you going very early? I well. I'm abandoning my husband for like the entire day. So I don't oh, know. You warned him. You you warned him. You pre-warned him. <laughs> you pre you prepared him. This morning I was like racing down the stairs at like 7:45 in the morning to get my coffee so I would have coffee for my first of like 11 calls today. Right. And he comes out of his office and he's he goes, "Wait, wait." And I'm like, "I don't have time for you." <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Happy honey. He said, "Happy anniversary! It's our thirty-second anniversary." And I had like, and you're gonna feel bad him. about leaving him at the plain air festival? <laughs> Forget I, it. I completely forgot. Nope. <laughs> nope. That's really funny. He had a very funny Facebook post this morning. It's supposed to be the guy who forgets the anniversary. I know. I know. That's not. Jean, how are you? How are you getting up there? Marianne is driving me, but I don't know how I'm getting home. So I'm probably, she's um, probably at the bus or something or the train. Well, Amtrak, you can get Amtrak pretty cheap if you ride yeah. coach and then we could sit together. Well, that would be great. I'm taking the last train home from I'm New York to Hudson. I know how happy this makes me to hear all of this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Jean, come take Amtrak with me. Okay. I'm in. I book it. I have a coach seat. I usually go business class, but I didn't this time because I don't want to spend the money. So book a coach seat on the last train home. You can't miss it. It's like at 720 something home and we can sit together. Okay. I'm oh. Oh, fun. That sounds like a country western song, the last train. <laughs> Take the last train to Clarksville. <laughs> No, in this case, it's the last train to Penn Station, <laughs> which doesn't really fit in a country western song at all. Penn Station has no place in a country western song. Yeah. <laughs> you get it all. Oh, I'll have to tell Catherine that all my Reuters people are going to be there and Gina will be there. Oh, it's so fun. It's kind of amazing when you think about it. And Simon is organizing this? Simon yeah. Simon organized this whole festival, and it's at this really cool place oh. where they have a castle and this, like, amazing... Oh, have, have you ever been to Alana? It's the most amazing. It's amazing. I've, I've never been there, there before. Oh. No, I've never been there. 
It's 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 my heaven. That's so excellent. Well, don't mind us. We'll just be here on the west coast. Maybe in our so what time are you guys? Do you guys think you'll be showing up there? I don't. I'm completely at Marianne's mercy. My train gets in at nine twenty, and Catherine's picking me up from the train station. So I would imagine nine forty-five. Before 10 o'clock. Exciting. So, so it's Marianne, Gina, Jean, and Janet. Four of us. And me uh, is five. Gina's partner, Sheila, is coming up. Oh, uh, uh, Gina? Or I mean, Marianne's partner, Michelle, may come up. What are, what are Michelle and, and Sheila going to do? I, I think they're just going to hang out. Do they have to pay to get in? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, they made it. Uh, I seriously doubt my husband Michelle will, will want probably to back out at the end, but that's, you know, Michelle. <laughs> do you think, you think Michelle might that? try painting? Did, no, I don't think so. Do you? I don't know. Why not? I don't think so. As Gina is painting, though, because I feel like she's kind of a lot, you know, the new job is like taking a lot out of, yeah. Really for all of Gina time. needs a day to just do nothing but. Yeah, art. And I'm trying to make her take one of the plein air classes, too. Oh, oh come to do the last one with me. I don't know. They have theater tickets that night, so I don't think they can stay. Oh. That's so cool, though. I'm so excited you're all going to be there. I saw that, and I was like, I'm not passing this one up. Yeah. But I haven't plein air painted in ages, so. It's okay. Are you guys bringing oils? That's what I was planning. It's it's too much work to bring oil. Fun. Well, you have a good watercolor setup. Leah, well, yeah, I wish you were coming with us. I do too, but I'm just happy you're all going. I mean, I feel like I'm having this moment of feeling like my students go free. The <laughs> <laughs> little babies are in the nest. We're flying around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly the feeling I have, which is ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous, but. There's a little part of me that feels just a little bit weepy right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not taking credit for what you guys are doing. Please don't take it that oh, way. No, no one would think oh. that. But I'm not doing that at all. I'm just feeling like I'm so glad you all started doing art. And I was just thinking about how all the neat spiraled things happen and how nice that She's is. She's just proud of us. And we're proud to be your students, Leo. <laughs> you guys are great. It really is amazing. I just think that's amazing. I was excited before, but I'm super excited now. You should be real. This is incredible. Um, Jean, there may, and Janet and whoever, there may or may not be emergency figure drawing on Sunday. I'm still waiting to hear. But apparently Simon didn't realize he booked the room at the dance studio for seven hours. And he doesn't know how it happened. Um, and he might have emergency figure drawing so that people can, can help him pay it. for the room. Mm -hmm. So I said to him last night, I said, well, do you have a model? He says, no. So he's going to have to work that out. But there might be like a drop-in, drop-out emergency figure drawing on Sunday if you're around and interested. I have my own Ask, yeah. here in town. Yeah. I asked him if I could bring oil paint. He looked at me like I was insane and said, absolutely not. What are you thinking? I said, Wait, where paint. is that? Um, it's on the Live Arts Center at 217 West 19th Street. So, Jean, it would be like an easy bus ride for you down from where you are. 
One time I asked Simon if I could bring pastels to one of his sessions and I thought he was gonna die right He actually time. put in yeah. the live drawing sessions now, no pastels allowed. Yeah. <laughs> but I brought a black pan pastel because I'm a rebel, rebel like that. But he specifically states, do not bring pastels. He hates pastels. It's so funny. But I did bring a black pan pastel, but that's not quite the same thing. Because they're messy? I can uh, do whatever I want in my sessions here. Yeah, you can. Right. You yeah, know, I'm you not can. just as this apple as I am. I stopped teaching about 20 minutes ago, and now I'm just paying. <laughs> so I think you're like, hey, you're just eating apples. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's see. I'd love to see how your apple is coming along. Let's take a look at that. I just sent it. Oh, let's see. I'm just kind of slapping at it. Slapping at it. I like that. Oh my fucking god, this is great. I'm I'm you know, I'm going to start like doing this whole series of purple fruit. This is fucking great. Sorry. Yeah, are you still recording? Yes. <laughs> I never so. did that these are for kids. This is amazing. <laughs> This is a great, I'm so glad we did this exercise. This is great. Congratulations, lady. That I'm tempted to have you do another one. Are you are you inspired to try other colors or are you feeling like nah? No, no, I could do it. I could do another one. I just I I need to get the darkers at the bottom a little darker. Well, why Jane, I love it. Why don't you I let that too. one dry for a little bit and try again? Try draw another apple. And then let's try another set of colors. Let's just try another set of colors. Any color you want to. That's just Jean, it's awesome. So great. This is a wonderful piece. Fuck it. I don't really care. Don't you think this would be a great art at work? Thing? Yes. Yes. I'm just going to show I it. I don't think there's anyone at Reuters who would mind that I'm still taking the classes. <laughs> yeah. I think they'd be happy to know I was still connected there. Yeah. I think they'd come to class just to see you. This is, yeah. I just love the way you built this up. I could do it as a one, two. All right, we're doing this for, do you mind? Can I do this for the work, Art at Work newsletter? It's totally, uh, it's wonderful. Really, really wonderful. Christina, let me know how you're doing over there. So I, I have never worked in acrylics before. So I was just going to ask what the underpainting is. Is it just, so do I just slap paint on? It's just no. So the underpainting is a single color. I'm going to remove this. Sorry, I, I don't want to slow everyone down. You're not slowing everybody down. I'm done. Okay. Um, or maybe there's a little bit here to do, but. Um, so if you can see, this is like a value, right? There's just light, dark. So the under mm -hmm. is one color in all the different values. Okay. So you get, so um, so I did a green underpainting. I'll show you what my underpainting looks like. I think I can find it in the WhatsApp. I'll just put it up. I'll just push it up. Um, I'll send you jeans. So here's jeans. She chose um, kind of burnt umber, uh, sorry, burnt sienna in yellow as her underpainting. Okay. And here's mine, very different. Mine was green. I know it looks a little bit purple on the dark side, but it really is just, just green with a little bit of red in it. Okay. So you, you'll you notice that these, although jeans looks really nice, even in the underpainting. The underpainting, um, because the first layers of color aren't very fantastic, they're kind of um, flat. Uh, we put down a layer and then you put down a different color, different colors on the top layer. Okay. So Good question. That's the assignment, right? That's the assignment. So you get to pick what color you want to use as a base. Um, I picked green because um, I was going to make a red apple, right? So I put, I use these, I continue to use these darks and lights here to kind mm -hmm. of formulate how I was going to put my, my darks and lights in my in my painting 
Um, but I wanted red and I knew that the red would look pretty radical with it. And I think it looks pretty good actually, you know, the red with the, on top of the green, the red's quite vibrant on top of the green. Jean, um, so Jean has a lot of yellow in her base and her top color was purple. So, uh, and the biggest issue is that they just need to dry in between Christina. So you just pick one color and you okay. can darken it with a little bit of the complements to make the darkest bit. And then you lighten it with a little bit of yellow or white if you need, or watery. Just make it more watery for the lighter bits. And I guess since it's not oils, you don't need the Gamsol or the Gal Kid or the okay. any of that. Water. It's just water. Oh, water. Okay. Yeah. Everything's done with water. This I have. Yes. So, um, yeah, and you know, it'll look kind of watery and flat. Um, but you, the big thing is to kind of follow the values. Yeah, so whatever color you want to for the base. Boy, Jean, that was, that's really excellent. So, so great. Well, what color should I do? Uh, what colors are you feeling? Yeah. Um, I was feeling purple. <laughs> we did our pears in purple last week too. How about yellow with a purple base? With a purple base? Oh, now I just started putting my purple away. Okay. Do a purple base with yellow on top. So switch it up. Yep. You'll want like yellow ochre and you'll need that purple to mix with your yellows for your darkest areas. Um, but uh, or, you know, something like blue, like turquoises. And anyway, I don't know. Um, I think there's a lot of things you could do. <laughs> I'm pulling out all the colors now. Pull it out. Use them all. Anyway, Jean, you see, you are not a, you're not a baby artist. You're an experienced artist. You do not need, so remember the drawing section part of it, right? The cross. And this, and I'm sticking it out again. Dean, you're not allowed to grid. I thought she wasn't. I didn't realize she was. If I had known, we're gonna just state it right here, Jean. You're not allowed to grid anymore. It's like not allowed. You're banned. You have a grid ban. I am. My job is done here. <laughs> I'm like, unless we get some new students in, which would be great. I feel like you guys are all on your way. Motion. So Leah, your show's going to be going on when we're there, right? Yes. You mean the um, you mean the other show, the uh, the one at gallery? The one gallery? you're making paintings for right now? Yeah, yeah. They're just both happening simultaneously. I'll totally take you there. And in fact, when are you arriving? Um, Is that a Friday, Thursday or Friday? I think we're arriving on Saturday. Oh, on Saturday, right? Yep. I'll totally. I have total plans. I'm taking you to see the show. I'm taking you to wine, to go to wine tasting. I'm taking you to the beach. We're gonna go see, we're gonna go visit Carista's thing on the coast. Yay! We totally wanna loop Brian on at least one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll, um, I'll reach out to her actually and let her know what I'm thinking. I wish I could go to Portland. I wish you could come to next year. Yeah. It's a pretty epic time to come. And we just decided that we're totally, um, we just decided we're gonna, that we're to do it no matter what. We're doing it. We're going to do it. I feel like we can do it safely. I feel like, uh, and a couple of artists have dropped out because they're nervous which I get, 
a little bit, sort of, I kind of get it. Kind of. I have a sort of love-hate relationship with my uh, with my artists <laughs> in this organization. <laughs> they are they are uh, wonderful in some ways, and in other ways, just completely unknowledgeable about anything, like about the real world at all. No knowledge at all. And so, in what way? Uh, hold on. 